Alrighty, in this wonderful tutorial, the second one, uh, I'm just going to show you basically if you end up doing a pixelation, which is like animating people or objects, um, or even if you want to do a stop motion animation, claymation or something, um, obviously it would, what you'll do is you'll shoot it with your um, digital still camera, right? So some sort of um, DSLR. And then uh, that's just going to be an image sequence, okay? So um, you may have noticed that whenever you open it up, it has like a frame, you know, say something, I don't know, IMG or DSC, and then I'll have like underscore 001, 002, however it names it. But they'll be some, they'll be sequential in nature. So what you want to do is take all those images, put those into a folder first on your hard drive or wherever you're working, and then um, make sure they're self-contained and make sure they go in a row. You can't have spaces. There can't be like go from 111 to 113. It's got to go 111, 112, 113. Um, and so on and so forth okay so just make sure that that all is correct um, so once you do that and you have all that going what you're going to want to do is kind of like we did before go file um, uh, new and uh, same settings as before uh, it kind of depends on your DSLR you might be able to go higher if you want um, but I wouldn't suggest it just because I'm afraid that Photoshop's kind of it's heavy it's a heavy program because a lot of RAM and stuff so it doesn't um, it's not really meant for this sort of stuff. There's better programs to do this in. So um, anyway, so I'm just going to do those settings. Uh, then what I would suggest is uh, not to create frame animation. Um, you're going to want to just create a video timeline. And click on that. Okay, so this it's going to be more like video editing in this sort. So um, the next thing we want to do is we're going to um, go to layer. Um, and where are you? Ba, 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 ba. Video layers. And do a new video uh, layer from file. Go to where your image sequence is. And you just need to click on the very first one. It'll automatically know that it's an image sequence. Okay? So you can see I just made this really crappy circle thing because I didn't have time to make a pixelation. Uh, so you can see these go in a row. And then I'll just hit open. And uh, you can see, again, it's really small. But you can see what it actually did was it made a space bar. That's my footage. Okay. And once again, you may to you may need to, and you probably will actually want to change the frame rate on this. So I would go up to um, the uh, set timeline and frame rate, and just um, I'd probably go like ten, just because you'll probably not have enough frames to play it that smooth. Um, you can see a ten is enough that it doesn't look great, but it should theoretically work. Well, I keep losing frames for some reason. Um, so let's pull this out. You know what I'm going to do? Um, you may need to do this too. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this layer and import it again because I think we'll actually have better luck because I think what happens is that it, it's compressing it after it's made. Um, so we're going to do video layer, new video layer from file. Click on the first one, open. Um, this way I won't lose anything. There you go. Um, so you can see now it looks a little bit better. Well, not better, but it works. Okay. Um, so what you might want to do too is I'm actually going to take this layer one because I don't really need it. Well, you could on layer one actually, you know, um, draw something up. So it'd be like, um, oh, you know what? This has got, oh, I bet I could do this. Let's try screen. No, multiply, does that work? There we go. Uh, I can draw like a thing here and then have my, there we go. Um, and I could even do something where actually above it, like if I want to make a special effect or something, I could go to um, layer, go to, where are you? Keep missing it. Um, new blank video layer. And what that's going to do is that you can actually, um, so I'll even turn these ones off so you can't see them. What's actually going to do is it's going to let you, kind of like we were doing before, where you can hand draw on something. So I'm going to go whoop. And then I'll just go one frame over. See? See, these are my frames. One frame, two frame, three frames. And go one frame over and then do my next drawing. And then go one frame over and do my next drawing. And what might help, too, is you can see I don't have the, the option of doing the uh, onion skinning. There actually is one right built in. If you go over here, go on, onion skin settings, uh, blah, 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 hit OK. And then you can see the onion skinning. Um, go to the next frame, blah, blah, blah. And now, I mean, I'll just turn these other ones on. That will actually be on top. And so you can make this awesome, super awesome animation. <laughs> you hand this in, I'll fail you, just so you know. In case you're wondering, I'm just trying to do it fast. Because uh, this is horrible. I will be very disappointed. I don't know what this is. 
Uh, okay, so voila, there's a crappy animation. And you would just render it out the same way that you've been doing everything else. You know, just go in this, uh, go to, um, uh, you know, render video, so on and so forth. Okay, uh, that'd be it. So that one was pretty quick and easy. But obviously you're going to have to do the pixelation. That's the thing that's going to take the time. Just plopping them in here should be pretty quick. You can literally just plop it in here doing what we did and then just export it right out and you should have your video. Okay. Uh, and you can also do other video editing too, but we'll kind of cover that in class and I'm not going to make a bunch of videos about that. So that's it.